to the pathogenesis of VAP or how ventilator associated pneumonia develop. Now, three factors are critical in the pathogenesis of VAP. The first, there has to be a colonization of the oropharynx with the pathogenic organisms. So, colonization of oropharynx. Second, the aspiration of these microorganisms to the respiratory tract. Aspiration of organisms from the oropharynx to the lower respiratory tract. Third, there should be a compromise of the normal host defense mechanisms. Compromised host defense, which usually all these patients will be. So, they will be on various kind of immunosuppressive drugs. Anyway, they are in hospital and has developed a VAB means their defense mechanisms definitely will be low. So, the first step is a colonization of the organisms in the oropharynx. And VAB occurs when these organisms are aspirated from the oropharynx into the lower respiratory tract. So, there are various risk factors which will promote these factors. For example, the colonization of the oropharynx by the organisms. Why does it occur? The most important risk factor here is antibiotic use. Okay. So, the antibiotic use will replace as a result of the antibiotic use the normal flora of the oropharynx is killed and is replaced by drug resistant organisms. So, that is the reason by which we always consider prior antibiotic use as an important risk factor for multidrug resistant organisms. So, once they are colonized there, there are many ways in which these bacteria can enter into the lower respiratory tract. The most important risk here is the endotracheal tube itself. Okay. So, the endotracheal tube is something that bypasses the normal mechanism that prevent aspiration. Okay. The normal mechanism by which the lung is protected from infection is bypassed by the endotracheal, endotracheal tube. So, you may say that the endotracheal tube prevents large volume aspiration, but always there is a risk of micro aspiration, uh, especially which is during suctioning okay, of the endotracheal tube. Micro aspiration is a significant risk uh, due to endotracheal, the endotracheal tube. Now, the endotracheal tube suctioning can also damage the uh, mucosa of the trachea. The tracheal mucosa is damaged, which will in turn lead to colonization of the tracheal mucosa with pathogenic bacteria. Okay? So, the suctioning can damage tracheal mucosa, further increasing the colonization of trachea with pathogenic bacteria. In addition, the bacteria can also form a biofilm around the endotracheal tube and in the biofilm these organisms are protected from host defense as well as antibiotics and if you use antibiotics as well as the host immune system not be able to properly prevent or control the infection uh, due to the organisms which are present in the biofilm. Now, in due to all these reasons, like the biofilm is formed and the biofilm sometimes during suctioning can be dislodged and it can reach the uh, lower respiratory tract. There is also micro aspiration occurring always, especially exacerbated by suctioning. All these factors lead to the invasion of the lower respiratory tract by organisms which are usually multi-drug resistant as a result leading to ventilator associated pneumonia. It's one of the one of the most difficult infection to treat. If you have ever treated, you will know it is very difficult to treat VAP because these drugs, these organisms are usually extremely drug resistant. Mm -hmm.